Hey everyone, uh, my name is Calvin and welcome to my uh, video tutorial here for Procreate. Uh, this is not going to be a painting tutorial, this is going to be more on the technical side of things. Uh, I want to show you how to manage the paper textures, how to create more copies of them, uh, and then also how to resize them for different iPads. Some of you may have noticed an issue where you don't have access to a lot of layers. That's just because the texture is too big. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to uh, shrink that down. Uh, the first thing I'll do is show you how to make copies. So here's just the normal paper texture. And uh, I want to make more copies of this so I can make more paintings. So I'll go to my gallery page. Uh, and then I'll go to the little uh, select icon over here. I'll select that paper texture and then just click duplicate. Uh, and that'll create a copy of it in just a uh, second here. So there we go. We've got two copies, but we need to leave this selection mode. So just go over to the X now, click X. All those little circles will disappear, and then you're just back in the uh, normal gallery page. Now the other way to do this is to re-import the texture. That'll create uh, just another instance of the original unmodified texture. So if I just go to my home screen and then go to my files app, I can go to my downloads and just find the original folder again that I unzipped, the original product folder. And then I can just tap on the texture again and it will import it from scratch and create a totally new instance of it just sort of uh, with all the default settings. So if you ever get into any trouble with the textures, like something is broken and you don't know what it is, uh, just re-import the texture and start from scratch. Now some of you may have noticed in the layers panel that you don't have access to many layers. You might only get three layers and then beyond that it starts throwing a warning saying you don't, you don't have access to any more layers. This is just a RAM issue. Basically, different iPad models have different amounts of RAM. If you have an iPad Air or maybe an older iPad, you don't have enough RAM to handle a large document like this with a lot of layers. So the, the solution is obviously you can upgrade your iPad or you can shrink the paper texture just a little bit. And even scaling this texture down even a quarter of the size uh, will give you way more uh, layers available. So I'm going to go ahead and turn off, actually I'll delete the default artwork. And um, I want to sort of decide how big my texture should be. So in this case, I want to make a texture that's 5 inches by 7 inches. Uh, that's a like a standard uh, size for a greeting card. So since that's a landscape thing, I'm just going to turn the canvas on its side. And I'm going to go over to the wrench icon and do crop and resize. And down here it says 5,000 picks by 4,000 picks. Now what you want to do is convert whatever size you're doing to inches. Since my size is already inches, 5 by 7, I'm just going to multiply uh, 5 times 300, as in 300 dpi. And when you do that, you're going to multiply the length and the width by 300 dpi, and that's going to give you the final pixel dimensions. Uh, that sounds more complicated than it is. So in this case, I want to make a 5 by 7 card. So I'll just grab my calculator over here, and I'm going to go ahead and type in 5, as in 5 inches, and I'm going to times 300. That's 1,500 pixels. So down here, I'm going to type in 1,500 pixels. And then I'm going to go back to my uh, calculator here, and I'm going to do 7, because we're doing 5 inches by 7. We have the 5. Now I just need to do the 7. So we're going to do 7. Oops, let's clear it. 7 times 300. That's 2,100 pixels. So then over here, I'm going to, I'm going to make sure these aren't linked. There. And I'm going to do 2,100. There we go. And um, this will give you an idea of how big this canvas really is. That's a 5 by 7 card. So if I just crop it like this right away, uh, you're going to notice that the paper texture is really like magnified. I still want to retain uh, the level of detail in the paper texture. So what I'll do is I'll remember this 1,500 by 2,100. And I'll zoom out here. And I'm going to look at the whole size of this. And I'm going to try to sort of guess about how big that is. And I'm going to cancel this. And what I want to do is scale the paper texture down to close enough to that size. So I'll open up the Layers panel and just click on the paper texture. Now if you just go and grab the arrow tool, it's going to throw a warning that something is locked. So you just need to go and unlock that uh, offending layer. So I'm going to open up the group and I'm going to look for the locked layer. In this case, it's the texture in here. You can see it has that little lock icon. So I'm just going to swipe this texture and then do unlock there. 
and uh, I'm just going to select a different layer, just any random layer, and then I'll select the group again. Now when I grab that arrow tool, uh, it won't throw that warning anymore. So I'll just grab the corner of this and just scale it down about the size of what I remember. About like that's probably fine. Uh, and then I'll deselect it to apply that. So now our texture has been sort of like crunched down to fill this corner. Now I'll go to the wrench here. I'll go to crop and resize. Uh, I'll enter those dimensions I remember here. 1500 by 2100. And it looks like my texture is sideways. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna flip these around. So this one will be 2100 by 1500. There we go. Now you can see if I zoom in here, my texture has been squished down to about this size, but this is the true size that I actually want it to be. It's fine if you're cropping the texture a little bit. Just imagine before how big the texture was and how much we were cropping it. So I'm happy with this. Double check the dimensions, then we'll do done. And here we go. We have a, um, a five inch by seven inch canvas and our paper texture has not been magnified. And uh, just after you do this, make sure you go to your gallery page. Uh, and then you might want to rename this just in case you uh, get mixed up with it. And I'll just call it five by seven inch. There we go. Done. So let me know what you think. If you have any questions about this, just leave a comment on this video or send me an email directly. But uh, other than that, guys, thank you so much for your support. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.